Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So last week, my order from Zalora arrived and it is the Chateau Labio. Um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this, but it's a wine lip tint. And I've been hearing a lot about this product and it got me really intrigued. That's why I decided to get myself one. So I got one in the shade Nebbiolo Red, which is this one. And it says in the back of the box, um, the long wearing tint dyes the lips with a bold yet delicate color that resembles quality wine while moisturizing the lips. Mm. And if you will look, if you will read the ingredients list that is pasted on the back of the packaging, um, you will notice that there is wine extract included here. And something that scares me a little bit, but I'm not sure what it is. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm just going to maybe research about it later. Is the ammonium acryloyl dimethyltorate. I don't know. Ammonium acryloyl... I really can't read it so long. But it's at the back of the um, packaging next to the wine extract. I already know what it looks like inside because um, I've been seeing it online but it still tickled me pink when I opened the box, the packaging, and saw this little wine bottle, this miniature wine bottle. So it looks like this. As you can see, it looks like that. And all Korean characters at the back. There. So it twists open like so. Just like that. Hi guys, so it's now 9.45 p.m. and as you can see, um, the tint has worn off a little bit, but it has left quite a pretty um, pink tint. It's not as red as it was when I first applied it. And take note that I applied this lip tint at 2.15 p.m. and around 6.15 p.m. I checked the time. At around exactly 6.15 p.m., that's when it started to fade away. Um, maybe it's also because I ate cheese sticks and cheesy. What else? And of course, drank water. So it is now 9.45 p.m. and this is how my lips look like after more than 7 hours of having it on. I like the fact that it did not totally wear off. Uh, the tint, of course, obviously is not as strong as, not as strong, not as red as when I first applied it and the first couple of hours after having applied it. But it still left a pretty shade of pink tint on my lips, so that's a plus. Also, the smell of this um, product 
uh, sort of reminds me of wine, of course, or medicine, <laughs> a bitter medicine. Yeah. I, I don't like the smell of it, but, you know, I can live with it. Also, after applying this, uh, I did feel that it was moisturizing. And, uh, and uh, I noticed that it also takes a couple of minutes to dry completely. But during the first, during that first couple of minutes, you will really feel like um, it's moisturizing. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but after seeing the wine extract on the ingredients label at the back, pasted on the back, there is another ingredient which is ammonium acrylol. I really can't pronounce it, and it's a really long word. Acryloyl dimethyl tarate. Um, of course, uh, when I read the word ammonium, ammonium, like warning signs or warning bells started ringing of my head. So I decided to research what it is about. It turns out that the ammonium acryloyl, acryloyl dimethyl tarate is actually a thickener. So, I guess not much worries on that part. I have to do more research on that. As far as repurchasing this product, um, I am very much interested in the shade orange, the orangey shade that they have. I forgot what the shade is actually called. But um, there is a good chance that I might purchase another one of this and... and in that orangey shade so i hope this video was informative and helpful to you guys and if it is please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you again in my next videos bye but it's still leaved what leaved <laughs>